Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Thank you so much for joining in. So for today, we are going to be using the following tools. With me, I've got my Calico Pattern Master, Pencil, Paper Scissors, Fabric Scissors, A Sharpener, Tracing Wheel, Sewing Pins, Measuring Tape, Masking Tape, and our Pattern Paper. Next, we need to get our pattern paper and draw a vertical line very close to the edge of our pattern paper. Then get our front bodies that we've previously drafted. You can click on the link on the video where we drafted our front bodies if you've not done so. So next, we're going to trace around our front bodies, making sure we have all the notches traced out as well. Now that we're done tracing the front bodies, we need to close the shoulder dart and the waist dart. But in order for us to close both darts, we need to draw in a new style line. And this is going to create an opening for us to close the darts. So once our new style line is drawn in, all we need to do is slash open the waist dart like so. And remember not to cut all the way through then rotate our paper to the shoulder dart and slash open the shoulder dart line like so remember not to cut all the way through so once that is done we are going to rotate our paper again and slash open the new style line that we've previously drawn in And with that, that's going to create an opening at the center front. And that will enable us to close both dots, which is the shoulder dot and the waist dot. So now we are going to gently close the waist dot like so. So we we'll go ahead to use our masking tape or cello tape, whatever kind of tape you've got, use that to secure a dot like so then we go ahead repeating the same step on the shoulder dot so like we did before we're going to close the shoulder dot and this time you just want to be careful you don't want to rush into closing the dots you need to make sure they're well closed and we'll get our masking tape and we take that in to secure the dots. And after that, the next thing is to trace a new pattern. But before we trace out our pattern, we need to make sure our waistline is smooth. Now that we have our pattern ready for tracing, we need to get a fresh pattern paper, making sure we draw our vertical line at the edge of the pattern paper. Next, we need to align our pattern to the vertical line on our fresh pattern paper, like so. And don't forget to use your masking tape or cello tape, whatever tape you've got to secure your pattern. So once that is done, we need to get our tracing wheel to trace our pattern. Once we're done tracing, we need to get our pattern off our pattern paper. Using our pencil, we're going to draw along the trace line. Thank you. 
in order for us to make our lines as accurate as possible, we need to use our pattern master. This can be achieved by placing your pattern master on the trace line, then draw in your new lines. Once we are done drawing all our trace lines, what we need to do next is to add our seam allowance. For my seam allowance, I am going to be using one centimeter. Now that we are done adding our seam allowance, the next step will be to cut out our pattern using our paper scissors. Now that we have our pattern ready, remember we're going to be placing this pattern on fold. We need to get our fabric. Make sure we fold our fabric because it's going to be placed on fold. And once our fabric is folded, we need to get our pattern. Making sure we follow the green line our pattern should be at the edge of the fold line. Then once that is done, we need to secure our pattern with our sewing pins. Next, we need to get our fabric scissors to cut out our pattern. So once we are done cutting out our pattern, we need to open it up. And for us to achieve the T-dot shape, we need to first of all join the center front seam. Like so. So I am going to use my sewing pins to pin them in. Then I'm going to join that afterwards with my sewing machine. I am going to go ahead to pin along this area, which is around the bust area. I'm going to straighten the fabric, making sure it's flat. And I'm going to pin along this seam as well. 
so that's going to be joined in with my sewing machine then i'm going to sew along that seam it's going to be a straight line along the seam and that will form my t shape dot so i'm just going to go ahead using my pins to secure that seam and here is the final look so thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe hit that notification button and don't forget to leave us a like bye for now i'll see you soon